Now, Tausa being the Irish word for dance, we're going to give you the brush dance, the famous Shannos dance. The founder and co-chair of St. Pat's Roll, and it is a great honor to be here with Kathleen Walsh Darcy, our co-chair, and we welcome you all. Everyone is welcome, welcome. here. This is beautiful to see all of you here. We want to thank our sponsors. We could not have this parade if it were not for the generous sponsors in Woodside and Sunnyside and New York City. And I just want to mention, our biggest sponsor is the Emigrant Support Program of the Irish government. And everybody, let's hear it for the Irish government. Yes, of course, Ireland had passed marriage equality in 2015. And we're LGBT people and everyone are welcome to march in towns and cities all across Ireland. And they send their love and cheer to all of us here on Skillman Avenue today. We, we also want to thank the Irish Arts Centre and the Irish Repertory Theatre and Yes Solutions, Mary Lanning, and Butcher Block, you all know, Claret Wine Bar for their generous generosity every year. Bar 43, Saints and Sinners, our oldest, longest supporting restaurant in Queens. Shelley's Cafe in Maspeth. Gossip Bar in Manhattan, who sent all the food that you had Friday night, and the Landmark Tavern. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Thank With you. With Bolter of Galair, we are here to celebrate an inclusive St. Pat's for All, celebrating Irish heritage and culture, the Irish story that brings us all together. All the roads lead to Sunnyside and Skillman Avenue today. The world is watching. We send our love and hello from Sunnyside. Thank you. Hello. Happy St. Pat's for all day. Bienvenidos. Even Mother Nature was very kind and the sun is out today. And we are delighted to, we always pause and remember the generosity of the Choctaw. Who were the first 
among the first to send support to the Irish during the famine. And they've always blessed our parade. So we're very grateful for the generosity of the First Peoples, the First Nation, the Choctaw of Oklahoma, who in kindness reach out to the Irish in our greatest moment of need, reminding us to be kind and to care for each other here and across the world. We always pause and begin our parade by remembering those who've gone before us. Robert Riger, Father Michael Judge, chaplain to the New York City Fire Department who died on 9-11 and was a great supporter of St. Pat's for All. And, form, and former Grand Marshal General Jim Cullen, we think of him especially today. And Alfie, Alfie McCourt and his brothers, we are so lucky to have Malachi with us always, and he's here today. And at the concert at the Irish Arts Centre, we remembered Heidi Hines, a great advocate for the poor in the city who loved this parade for its message of welcome and hospitality for everyone. And of course, we remember Stanley Ryger, traditional Irish musician, a heart for everyone, and a great love and advocate for his son, Robert, who is gay, and his LGBT family. And Osvaldo, who we used to have here every year, and we loved him so much, we want to remember him. He's here in spirit. Right. We give love for everyone, and they, we hold them and they, we carry them with us. So it is our great honor and pleasure. We are celebrating two beautiful people in our city and in our community who are our grand marshals today and who will s we celebrate and we honor <laughs> today we we'd like to introduce to you our two great grand marshals joanna flores representing our children uh, a great movement and project in this borough of queens for formerly incarcerated women and their children. And we'll be hearing also from Mick Maloney, a global musician who through the spirit of Irish music reminds us that the best of who we are knows no borders, music and art and beauty. So please put your hands together and welcome Joanna Flores to speak on behalf of our children. Thank you to St. Pat's for all for honoring the women of our children. Buenas tardes, good afternoon. I'm Joanna Flores, employment coordinator of our children's job training program. On behalf of Sister Tisa Fitzgerald and the staff of our children, we are honored to receive this recognition of the work we do every day at our children. Our children provide supportive housing to 250 women and children. Most of our women have trans... It's here in spirit, I don't hear it! Please come and visit us. We're located in Long Island City so you can see the houses and the programs in action. Now I'm going to turn over the microphone to Sarah Murphy, who's she's going to share. She's going to share her experience with all of you guys. <laughs> thank you so much, Joanne, and thank you so much for honoring us today. We're so blessed and grateful for this beautiful sunny day in Queens. I came to our children in June 2017 after having my son while I was incarcerated in the Bedford Hills Nursery, which is run by our children. Once I came to our children, I had six weeks to get a job or else I was gonna go back to prison and I was gonna lose my son. Joanna saw something special in me and she trained me to be the office assistant of our Working Women program where I'm still working today. I'm so honored and blessed to be part of this program. They've treated me and my son and my daughters who are five hours away so, so dearly. And I don't know where I would be without Sister Tisa, without Joanna, and I just feel so much love being here today, because love does make a difference. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much. 
Jumana Flores and Sarah Murphy be proud. Please put your hands together for our second Grand Marshal, Mick Maloney, who has been bringing music and song across the world. And we are so honored that he is able to join us in Sunnyside today at St. Pat's for All. Well, thank you very much. It's a great honor to be here. 47 years ago, I came from my native Ireland to America for two years. Well, I'm still here. I'm a citizen of Ireland, also a citizen of the United States of America. I'm very proud indeed that I'm a citizen of both countries. Um, Ireland, as many of you know, uh, has become a really progressive and very multicultural country um, in the 50 years since I left. Uh, and indeed, one out of every six people, every six faces you see on the island of Ireland, uh, comes from outside the country. One out of six. We've become a very diverse country and we've become one of the great leaders in acknowledging the realities of global climate change and uh, taking measures uh, accordingly. Also, uh, the first country by referendum to make gay marriage legal. Very proud of our stance on diversity and uh, I'm very proud to be here in this particular gathering today uh, that is so diverse. Uh, earlier this week with the Council of Ireland here, Kieran Madden, uh, a new organization was founded and it's the African American Irish Diaspora Network acknowledging the very close links that exist between Irish and African Americans and indeed all ethnicities in America historically. Uh, it's not very well known in Ireland and indeed in America that 38% of African Americans have Irish DNA and if there are 38% of African Americans that have Irish DNA, guess how many percent of what percentage of Irish Americans have African American DNA? It's not hard to figure out and this uh, gathering represents everything that American society should be about and currently is not about, at least at an official level in Washington, about acknowledging the diversity of this great nation and the power that immigrants have had and con will continue uh, to have to shape the liberalism in this society and the multicultural nature of the society. I've played all over the world, I've been honored, the music, I've, my, the banjo, which originally is an African instrument, is my main instrument, uh, and uh, it's carried me everywhere. Uh, and uh, in, in recent times, I've been very honored to do collaborations with people in Cuba, many times in Mexico for the last two marches, uh, and also in Vietnam and in Thailand and other countries as well. Music knows no bounds. Humanity knows no bounds. And I'm very honored indeed to be Grand Marshal of such a fine gathering. And, and uh, this will be, this will stay with me forever. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you, Mick Maloney. Send a cheer to Mick Maloney. And now it is our great pleasure to introduce, who's going, oh, um, our council member, Danny Drum, who is going to introduce and welcome many of our elected officials. And let me just say, the tricolor flag that Tom Moulton is holding there was created, stitched for us by Gilbert Baker, the designer of the rainbow flag, and this was his last parade before he died in 2017. But what a great legacy that he has given us to that our flag should say, welcome, inclusion. And I'm very proud actually, the tricolor flag is a symbol of equality and reconciliation and unity. The orange representing that, you know, um, Protestant and uh, background and the green, the, the Catholic nationalist. It's a very beautiful symbol and we're honored to carry it and hold it high as we are the many rainbow flags we see here today. But in the, before we just move on to our local officials, please put your hands together for the Consul General of Ireland, Kieran Madden. Hey, thank you, Brendan, thank you, Kathy, and thank you everyone who made this parade possible for the last 20 years. Um, Congress, Congress, woman, Congresswomen, welcome. Uh, Danny Drum, Chairman of the uh, Irish Caucus City Council, Speaker Corey Johnson, Speaker of New York City Council. It's an honour to be here on this stage with all of you. When Irish people were starving, they were given a welcome in New York City. When Irish people were poor, they were given a welcome in New York City. And when Irish people could not be themselves in a different, more closed, claustrophobic Ireland of 20 and 30 and 40 years ago, they were given a welcome in New York City. Here in New York, they became part of the mosaic that is, that is New York and that is the United States. 
in my experience, nobody in this city has done as much to reach out from the Irish community to other communities as Mick Maloney here, your Grand Marshal. He does so with music, he does so with dance. He reaches out to the African American community, Jewish American communities, Mexican communities, Cuban American communities. He uses music as a universal language to bring people together. And congratulations to Mick on being an honoree. And congratulations to the parade on choosing him. And can I also congratulate Johanna Flores. You, your own story and your organization is an inspiration to all of us. Happy St. Pat's for all, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor and a great pleasure to welcome Council Member Danny Drum, who 21 years ago, when we reached out to him and we were LGBT people were barred from every parade in the city, I sat down with Danny Drum and Ellen Duncan from the Irish community in the city. Danny Drum has been part of the movement for equality in the city for decades and has been part of literally leading this movement, St. Pat's for All, for 21 years. Of course, we've all known him as Council Member Danny Dom, Chair of the Immigration Committee, Chair of the Education Committee, and currently the Chair of the Finance Committee. Loved by everybody across the city, put your hands together for Council Member Danny Drum. All right, thank you everybody. It's so great to be here. And Brendan reminded me of our very first year. And that year, Brendan asked me if I could get a couple of school kids to come to the parade to present Hillary Clinton with flowers. Hillary Clinton was at that time the first lady of the United States. So I picked two children. One, a young Mexican girl in my class. My school used to be about two blocks up the road. And I picked another child from Northern Ireland. I didn't really say much to my class about the parade being inclusive of LGBT folks, but it was all over the television, it was all over the radio, and I said, you know what, if parents want to come, they'll bring their kids and they'll join us behind our school banner. On the morning of the parade, I get here, and the lesbian and gay Big Apple Corps band is here, and I see the mother of the child from Northern Ireland looking at the lesbian and gay Big Apple Corps band, and I went over to her and I said, Dear, and this is so and so. I said, you look very concerned. I said, are you concerned because the um, lesbian and gay Big Apple Corps band is here? And she said, oh no, it's not that. She said, it's the first time I've let my child march in a Catholic parade. <laughs> we are hardly Catholic. We are all denominations. We are all races. We are all creeds. And everybody is Irish on St. Pat's for All Day. So it gives me great pleasure now to represent a number of the elected officials who have been out to support us and who have done so much for us. Let me start at the congressional level and I'll work my way down. I cannot introduce every single elected official who's here, but I will do Congress, I'll do citywide, I'll do our speaker of the city council, and I will certainly announce all of the other folks who have joined us today. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause to Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Thank you so much, uh, Councilman Drum. And let's give a big round of applause to all of our organizers and leaders here in Woodside and throughout New York City to celebrate St. Pat's for All. Today is always such an incredible day and it is always such a joy to be here to join you all for St. Pat's for All. I think that I like to think in, in a city with robust competition for which community embraces and loves immigrants, I think that Woodside has a really special jewel in that, um, in that history. And I think it is in no small part thanks to the beautiful, progressive, Irish, inclusive community that has such a rich history here in Woodside. Um, we would not be the inclusive community if it wasn't that we are, if it wasn't for this history, if it wasn't for you all, and if it wasn't for St. Pat's for All. The, the heart and the spirit of today is about inclusivity and celebration and uplifting the very community that New York's immigrant story really is, is centered and, and loves, you know, is, is, and is rooted in. And so with that, 
you know, we just, we are here to celebrate each other. We're here to celebrate our Irish brothers and sisters. And everyone, thank you for saying this. Danny, everyone is Irish on St. Patty's Day. We all know that. Um, and so with that, I just want to hand it over to our, our, my, my, our, our, my chairwoman here on the House Congressional Oversight Committee, Ms. Carolyn Maloney. Thank you, St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day and a happy parade for all. This is one of my favorite parades because it, because it includes everyone. Everyone, every creed, sex, religion, you name it, they're all included. And I thank uh, Brendan Fay and, and Danny Drum for founding it back in 2000 when many of us were excluded and we had our own parade so that everyone could be there. And I remember marching with the First Lady and uh, with many of you, it's only gotten bigger and stronger. This, this past year we passed the Equality Act in Congress and the House we need to get it through the Senate. And just last week, we had a hearing in the Oversight Committee on LGBTQ uh, rights and responsibilities and uh, goals and other things that we need to do to work together to improve this country. I want to honor, honor all the honorees today, uh, Kathleen Walsh, Dari, and Brendan Fay, who organized it, but Mick Maloney, everybody loves his, uh, his music. But Joanna Flores with our children, it is the best children's program in the entire city. Uh, you should all go by and see it and support it. But I look forward to marching with you, working with you, and going forward with you for rights for all people, inclusion for all people. Thank you for being here and supporting that goal. Thank you. And, and now who? And now I'd like to introduce to you Abigail, who is 10 years old and she attends PS38. Abigail, come on up. Hello, as Councilman Drum just said, I am Abigail and I'm 10 years old. I go to school PS38 and my sister Hannah, who is 10 years old, is unfortunately has sickle cell disease, which is a serious blood disorder that distorts the hemoglobin, causing severe pain and organ damage. My sister unfortunately has this disease and right here I'm advocating to get more money to help fund sickle cell disease because as soon as I found out that she had sickle cell disease I have made letters to the mayor and saying that we really need this money because it's a very important cause and I would like to thank my local officials, including Senator Kevin S. Parker, Councilman Drome, Councilman Levine, for their continued support of this bill. And we, and I am part of Hannah's Heroes, which is the name that we made for my sister. And now seeing you all here, and hopefully you will all be Hannah's Heroes too. Okay, how do you donate? Abigail, do you know? You can advocate, you can tell your friends, you can post it. Just make sure that you that you say what you're doing because sickle cell disease is very important. Not many people know about it, which is one of the main reasons I'm speaking. And any way you can help is fine. <laughs> All right, thank you, Abigail. Abigail wrote me a beautiful letter last week when we held a hearing in the city council, which we presented to every member in the uh, health. This, my leader, my speaker, let's give a huge round of applause to Corey Johnny Drum here at the St. Pat's for All Parade. I'm gonna tell one very quick story, which is on a day like this, I think about my grandfather, who was the patriarch of my family growing up, my mom is one of 10 kids, and when I was 16 years old and wanted to come out to him, my mom dropped me off at his home, and I was scared to death. He was 83 years old, an old Irishman. I was scared to death to tell him that I was gay. I had just come out to my parents. He went to mass every single day. Above his bed was a photo of JFK and the Pope and Jesus on the cross, and I sat down in his home and he looked at me and he said, what's the matter, you're making me nervous. 
And I said, Grandpa, I have something to tell you. And he said, spit it out. And I said, well, I wanted to tell you that I'm gay. And he said, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I thought you were going to tell me that you were a Republican. He says, you can be gay, just you have to be a Democrat. So Grandpa, on St. Pat's for All Day, I've lived up to that promise. Happy St. Pat's for All. We love this parade. And today is a real counterpoint to the exclusion that we're seeing on Staten Island. It is time for every parade in New York City to open up to all people to march under their banner. So we hope that the very few small group of exclusive organizers on Staten Island see today as a beacon of what is possible open up that parade let's let everyone march like they do here in sunnyside and woodside happy st pat's for all okay ladies and gentlemen it's my pleasure now to ask scott stringer the controller of the city of new york to say a few words thank you mr finance chair and i just want to say to all of you as we come here every day it reaffirms our commitment to equality to the lgbtq community to all of us who send a strong message, not just to New York City, but around the world, that when it comes to inclusion and rights, and the fact that people have the right to love who they want, this parade symbolizes all that we have fought for for the last few decades. It's an honor to march with you, to be with you, and let's continue this great Queens tradition. Thank you very much. Hey, now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to my friend, the newly elected district attorney of Queens County, Melinda Katz. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you to Danny Drum, thank you to Brendan, everyone for coming out year after year to show the inclusion in Queens County. Just so you know, this is the first year the Queens District Attorney's Office is marching with a rainbow banner with the whole office behind me the entire trip. We are so excited to be here as a group. I am so excited to be part of this when it comes to friendships and togetherness and to show that our county stands together. But as a district attorney, I also know there are times we need to prosecute for hate crimes, for the increase in transgender violence that is happening in Queens County. We will not put up with it right here in our borough. But today's about fun. Today's about being Irish for everyone. And it's about standing together to watch each other's backs here in Queens County. Have a great time. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to the acting borough president, Sharon Lee. What's good, Queens? What's good, Queens? Thank you, council member. My name is Sharon Lee. I have the honor and the privilege to serve as your acting Queensboro president. You know, this parade is just so special, and in particular because in this country, as we know, we are seeing a resurgence and an emboldening of exclusion, whether in the form of racism, whether in the form of xenophobia, whether in the form of homophobia, and even in our city, as our speaker mentioned, we are still seeing a resurgence or an insistence on exclusion. But today is particularly special because we say, that's not how Queens rolls. In Queens, we are for all, for all of our families because we are the borough families. And so thank you so much. I am delighted to be here today and happy St. Pat's. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon Lee. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce the state senator from this district. Let's give a big round of applause to Mike Gianaris. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. I am so, so proud to represent this community which is known throughout the world as the progressive capital of this country. And you know, people have figured that out the last couple of years, but we've known that for a long time. This parade, when it first started, was making a statement about the inclusivity and the tolerance of this community in Western Queens. I am so proud that I have been here year after year to show my support, and I will continue to be here as long as this parade goes on. I'm watching it grow every single year. We have a great crowd today. Danny and Brendan, thank you so much for your great work through the years. Keep up the good work, Queens. 
Hey, another longtime friend of the community, of the LGBT community, and also a longtime assemblywoman. Let's hear it for Kathy Nolan. Thank you. It's always a beautiful day here in Sunnyside, isn't it? And we're happy to be here. You know, in Ireland, there's counties, right? So here in Queens, we have counties too. But one of the things about this parade is it's not County Armagh, it's not County Kerry, it's County Politics. Because everybody in the city who's in politics wants to be part of our beautiful community. And so when we celebrate with so many wonderful groups, including young people, to say that our Sunnyside Woodside community is a welcoming community with an Irish American heritage that we are proud of. And so I want to thank Danny and Brendan and all the people who've been involved in this for so long and say to everyone, have a wonderful, wonderful St. Patrick's Day here in Sunnyside. Spend some money later at some of the restaurants and we'll wish you again next year. Thank you. Oh, how are you? Andy. I, I see everybody here. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, the man who got elected the same time that I got elected to the city council. Let's give a big round of applause to city council member Jimmy Van Bremer. Thank you very much, Danny. I want to thank uh, Brandon and Danny and everyone who created this amazing party, uh, this amazing parade and party, and Kathleen as well. Over 20 years ago, I've marched every single year, every single year in this parade, and I want to say that I have been proud to be the openly gay council member from Sunnyside and Woodside for the last 10 years. <laughs> Equally proud to be married uh, to my husband, Dan Hendrick, who is here. And I cannot be here without talking about my mother, who, when I came out and told her I was gay in 1989, I was so nervous that she would reject me, but she turned to me and said, you are my son, I love you, nothing changes, you will always be my son, and I will always love you. Many people know that my mom is going through some difficult challenges, but she is here today, not on the stage, because it's a little hard to get up to the stage, but she's going to march because I asked her earlier in the week, Mom, do you want to go to the parade, the Queen's St. Pat's for All parade? And she said, I love that parade. I want to march in that parade. So she's here. I love my mother. I love this parade. I love Sunnyside and Woodside. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now we have a few more introductions, but I'm going to skip the, uh, what's the word, the uh, order of uh, protocol, protocol. And I uh, introduce to you someone who I see everywhere and who has been a huge and some very, very important fighter for us in Washington, D.C., leading the Democrats. Let's give a big round of applause to Senator Chuck Schumer. Thank you. You know, what we stand for in Queens, what we stand for in New York, what we stand for in America is diversity and inclusiveness. And we stand here together today to tell all those son of a guns in Washington, when you pick on any of us, you pick on all of us. When the Irish came to America, they were excluded and, sh and shunned. Each group has gone through it, but each group has been proud to be Americans. And our LGBTQ community has gone so through so much pain and now we are seeing progress. We've come a long way. I was the first to march in the gay pride parade. I was one of the early people to come out for gay marriage. And we are gonna continue to make progress, 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 till everyone in America, whatever their nationality, whatever their race, whatever their gender, whatever their sexual preference, whatever they're anything, are all Americans together. Donald Trump, take that. We are going to beat you in every way. Thank you, everybody. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, he brought his passport with him, but let's give a big round of applause to the borough president of Brooklyn, Eric Adams. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mick Adams, Mick Adams, Mick Adams. Let's stay focused, move ahead. I saw a sign, protect the CUNY cuts. Let's ensure we always have a lot of for people to move into the middle class. This is a welcome parade. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy I see Mike Janaris. 
Together we push forward the legislation to make marriage legal here in the state of New York. Continue to do the great things in the state Senate. Happy St. Patrick's Day Parade. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes. I, I wanted to say also that uh, if you wanted to, you can contribute and you can write to your state senators and your state elected officials. You can write to me in the city council for the cause that Abigail was talking about for those who are suffering from sickle cell and sickle cell trait. So you can get letters to us. We have a funding bill that's going to be coming up that we look forward to supporting. Uh, let me also announce all of my friends in more local government who are here. I see that we have State Senator Jessica Ramos. We have my colleagues in the City Council, Helen Rosenthal, Carlina Rivera, Barry Gradenchik, Catalina Cruz, Assemblywoman Catalina Cruz, Council Member Donovan Richards. Like that first Irish name. Assemb Assemblywoman Arabella Simonis is here. Assemblyman here. And did I get everybody? Brian Barnwell. Where's Brian Barnwell? Brian Barnwell is here. All right. And congratulations to the honorees, Nick Malone, uh, and also to uh, our children who I've had the pleasure of working with Sister Tisa on so many different issues regarding criminal justice reform. So thank you very much, of course, to our Council General as well. And let's give Brendan Fang and Kathleen Walsh Darcy a big round of applause. They are the organizers for today. Oh, and State Senator Tom Dwayne is here. No, a proclamation from the government. We have a few more. Come on, yep. Hi everybody, happy St. Pat's for all. My name is Jordan, I'm the Deputy Downstate Director for Governor Andrew Cuomo. I'm just here to present a proclamation on behalf of the Governor um, for uh, St. Pat's for all today. So thank you, for, thank you everyone for coming and have fun out there. All right, uh, Matt McMorrow. The city of New York, Mayor Bill de Blasio, who advocated for us so that Fifth Avenue would become an inclusive St. Patrick's Parade, which it is. That is what he has stood for. The principle that our cultural celebrations in the city be known for their spirit of genuine New York hospitality. Hands together for the mayor of the city of New York, Bill de Blasio. Thank you. Thank you so much. Everybody, Brendan, first of all, where are you, Brendan? There you go. Everybody, this guy has been a hero. He really has for years and years shown us the right way to do things. Let's thank Brendan for everything. 21 years ago, correct? 21 years? 21 years ago, a different kind of Irish rebellion broke out right here. A rebellion in favor of respecting everybody. A rebellion in favor of ensuring the whole community could participate. What happened 21 years ago is something we're still feeling today. Because if it wasn't for what happened 21 years ago, there'd still be a lot of people who are not getting the respect they deserve in New York City. So thank you to everybody who built this parade from scratch, even when people told you you couldn't do it. And there were plenty of people who told you you couldn't do it. Thank you for everyone who believed. And what you are doing in a country that desperately needs to see mutual respect and unity and understanding and inclusion, that's what we're doing here today. Give yourselves a round of applause for doing it the right way. So now that you are 21 years old, you can finally have a Guinness. Congratulations, everybody. Let us mark this occasion with a proclamation. Let's make it official. Brandon, will you hold that there? Thank you.
This proclamation extols the virtues of this parade and what it means to this city and what it means for everyone to see unity and everyone together. And what it says at the end is my favorite part. It says, I, Bill de Blasio, Mayor of the City of New York, do hereby proclaim today, March 1st, 2020, in the City of New York as St. Patrick's for All Parade Day. Let's get out there and have a great parade, everyone. Thank you.